All right, we're at the venue. It's a fairly large turnout, actually. What? Everyone's all signed up. I can feel coffee and do that for you. I'm gonna look around. Actually. There's a lot of blue eyes, from what I've noticed. I hear Cosmos are popular. And we'll turn back up to the one. Alright, we're here at the regionals. Round two is over. I am currently 1-1. One, one. Round one, I played against PK Fire. I lost it. Not playing later. Oh, I am not getting pizza. Hi. One of our judges here. Maybe we'll stalk him. No, we're not. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, let's see. Round one of the PK Fire. And game one, I misplayed him. Yeah, misplayed. And he had a stronger hand than I did. Game two, I opened much stronger than he did. And game three, I realized I was playing with a 39 card deck legitimately, so I just scooped it up. Just the thing I do. Round two, I played against the Blue Eyes Mirror. In game one, I had a particularly not strong hand. He was able to resolve Melody, multiple returns, and eventually Soul Charge, but like the game was already over at that point. I had to summon alternative and pass. Whereas game two, he... What else? Game two? Hmm. Game two, I think he just summoned the monster. Okay. It's okay. No problem. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to remember. Hmm. I know I eventually just break his board, make dark matter, and kill him. And then game three, he makes me go first. I open with Drago and Regeki, so I summon Drago when he finally outed it. And he had an emptiness, I had Regeki for his alternative, and then I started drawing combo pieces, and he didn't, and then I won. Currently 1-1. I'm gonna go check up on the rest of the team. Yeah, we have a lot of decks here. Everything that you expect, plus things you wouldn't expect. Oh, I was gonna look for you. What's up, you win? Oh uh, yeah, I won. How'd you do? I got AIDS. AIDS. Oh, no, What'd you play? I mean, Omega could go to one. Oh, did you play against Synchro Fusionist? No, I played against Zombie Synchro. Lose the dice roll, of course. Turn one, two Omegas. That's fun. My hand's pretty bad anyway, but you made it unplayable, so thanks. Game two, Dragon Spear to White. I go first, right? Do not let that fucking AIDS go set first. Dragon Spear to White, Dragon Spear to White. Blue Eyes White Dragon, Alternative White Dragon, Galaxy Soldier. It's like, sure, I can make Cyber Dragon Infinity. That's about it. Mm. And the open Brilliant Fusion Summoner. Oh. Sorry, two brilliant fusions, so I negate one and he plays another one. Yeah, Omega can go to one. He can kindly F off. That's, no, that was so fucking easy. I'm pissed. Uh, I played the mirror in this round. Game one, I not too bad. I played all time. I had, game one, I did not open well. This was though after my deck check. Or rather, after I fixed my deck up after my match loss. Yeah, I know. Sorry. I had to summon alternative and pass. That was it. Game two, I bricked. Terribly, like I opened returns, blue eyes, and nothing. He just summoned two alternatives and beat me. So in desperation, I had to normal summon DD Crow and then use Sage on it to get my deck rolling. I cleared, yeah. Then I ended up outing his back row, made rank eights and one. Then game three, he made me go first. I opened Clark and Drago. He gamma still did a couple turns later, but at that point, I just started rolling him in advantage because he opened dead cards. And you? I forgot Utopia Lightning exists ah. and paid myself too low and then it attacked over my Dark Destroyer for game, in game 3. So, I was oh. like, oh, whoops. So are you 0-2 then? No, I'm 1-1. Oh yeah, you played what round 1? Uh, PK Fire. Oh yeah, the mirror. No, I'm not I'm playing Cosmos. I keep thinking you're playing PK Fire, okay? No. Okay. And you played... P no, wait, you played PK Fire for round 1? No. No. Chaos Max was. Oh yeah. I shit on that kid. And such a sky dragon. And what about you? Game one, I opened anti spell against Metal Foe's Yang Zing, so he's basically clawing at his throat for MST. Didn't draw it. Then game two, he played under Max C and just set one and pass, and I just blew him out. <laughs> well, uh, I will play you next round. Sounds good. I would have just gone for an unbreakable board and made a dark tile thing. That's what I would have done. But I felt bad for him game one. He's like set set pass, and I was like, oh, okay. And you're round one. 
By round one, game one, he opens tour guide, three back row. He strikes two of my Dantes, and then fog blades my others, so I went to game two. Game two, he opened cherries, and I just lost. Well, all of us are 1-1. One, one. I played against Evil Storm, so I mean, that's no fun. Oh. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, yeah, they like, are here. Like, yeah, there's like three or four of them. Where's game that, one, what do that I do against Encore? Encore? Or is that hype? Oh, yeah. What oh, yeah. do I do against Ophion game one? Round. That's the hot two shit. Like, <laughs> like, game one, if I don't have, like, like, game like, one, <laughs> Ophion's just, like, next to impossible for me to out. So, like, he Ophion set and ends with, like, three sets, and I'm, like, looking at my hand, I'm, like, Again, I'm just gonna go to game two. And then game two, uh, Evil Swarms can't deal with untargetable ships. Yep, sounds about right. So, like, I just sat there with Forerunner and just kept gaining life and slowly poking at him. <laughs> and then game three, it was just, I forgot, it was, I forgot Utopia Lightning exists. Where the hell is Stove and Sean? Uh, I don't know. We're gonna look. Yes, go Pretty good. Oh, over one. If I get knocked out, I'm just gonna play Harold on the side. So we'll take a look around and see what's going on around here. How are you doing, Matt? How are you doing? I am doing well. I'm are you doing oh so far? You're doing oh. What'd you play so far today? Uh, round one, uh, I played against Mermails. Went to game three, it was really good. Um, and round two, I played against uh, Chanel Trains. Train dolls, whatever you want to call it. Did you? That was hardly fair. I, I kind of felt bad. Oh, it was. I basically can't put it on here because it would be constituted as uh, rape. More or less. Okay. It was pretty bad. Everyone else is 1 1 as far as I know. I haven't talked to Shard yet. Um, oh, wait, here yeah. he comes right now, so we can just confirm. And how's your record today, sir? Working right. Doing fine. 2-0. 2-0? Okay, so you guys are 2-0 and the rest of us are 1-1. I'm 2-0. What'd you play? What I play against? Yeah, what'd you play today? Um, well, game one, or round one, I played against uh, Demise Gearius. Oh. Yeah. I lost game one because I bricked really hard, but games two and three, I came back. Um, and then round two, I was just playing against... I thought it was uh, Shadal Trains because I gamma sealed one of his set monsters and it was Shadal. But then uh, it was his turn and then he activated a Prediction Princess Ritual. Oh. So that kind of caught me off guard. But uh, I mean, overall, I, I sold two of So overall, pretty good so far. Okay. We're back after round. Play a pool. There's 13 Get minutes around. left in the round. 13 minutes. Currently 3 1. I just. Uh, from the last round, I played against uh, Heraldic Beast, so that was a 2 0. And I played against Mermil. I won the die roll for the first time all day, made him go first. And well, that went as expected. Game two, I opened. I would host my opponent. And because of that, I won. Like, I opened every perfect thing Maxi, Fizz Diva, Baylor to this one thing. And DD Crow to his Neptibus, which shut his play down entirely, and then I just you know, snowballed from there. Uh, I made two misplays that match, which annoyed the piss out of me. Sounds like Mega Monkey won his match, and so we're probably 3 1. I draw all three galaxy soldiers. So I summon two of them, make infinity, summon another Dango Saka, attack him, he draws, tries to activate duality, like no Dango Saka escapes you. <laughs> What's your record, right? Excellent. I'm 2 0 oh, and 2. 2 0 oh, and 2. Yeah. What? Two, oh, and two. That's 8. That's... I've never heard of that before, I know. I'm two, oh, That's the dream right there. Oh, well, now it's on I camera. 5 0 2, I'll talk to you. Yeah, no, I'm because my vote is better so than So happy about that round. Holy shit. I was so scared about mine. Can I play the Mize Cosmos? And at one point, his ward was anti spell mistake emptiness. Uh, and I still won that game. I had to play against Mermail. You know why? Because Cody told me to sign Dango Saka last night. Well, time to sign up for the side event. You're out. I got crushed by Gear Yet. Demise? <laughs> no, 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 no. It wasn't Gear Yet.
can't do mine. No, it can't. It would three machines. So he has mistake, right? So like I can't even search for more galaxy solutions, but it doesn't matter because I drew all three. <laughs> I just drew all three. And like Oh, that was AIDS. Because uh, like yeah, like he goes like stab by face, he like does his first turn, has like Wicked Witch. Cosmo Town, five sets. Stab by face, anti spell. Half my hand is spells, I'm like. Normal summon sage, mistake. Set three pass. <laughs> and then I, over the next two turns, I resolved all three trade ins, one turn after the other because of fucking anti spell. And it ended up me with a hand of all three galaxy soldiers and both Manko Sekas. I didn't, uh, I didn't even think to bring in Denkos. Cody told me to side them, so I did. Because I listened to Cody. Uh, like, I was so terrified of the fact that I had to play against water, but I won the die roll, so I made him go first. I won the dice roll too, and I made my opponent go first because I didn't know what he was playing, and my build was supposed to go second. Yep. And it didn't matter because game one I had Twin Twister for... He tried to go like tin can stuff, he got the shittiest tin can thing. Finally, my life is complete. <laughs> and when he tries to call his Dark Destroyer, I have Twin Twister and I have Soul Charge. Uh, game two, I resolve in this order Effect Failure, Ghost Ogre, DD Crow on him. It's good. It's good, Mark. It's insane. It's like, it's, 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 I don't know what Kurt's playing. Oh. I think it's just two people we know against each other, which sucks. That's playing against Lane. Well, you and, I are, you and I are probably going to be playing at the bubble. Don't you say that. We're both X1. I outed so many games. No, I'm so happy. If I, I would have been so salty if I lost that. Like Cody was standing there watching the game. Like sees all these floodgates and me just drawing galaxy soldiers. But I guess. I like winning game one. It puts the pressure off winning game two. It's like, oh, okay, if I brick this game, it's like I have game three to try and run it back. Fucking mistake though. I expected to see anti spells. I expected to see vanities. Mistake though. Oh. That threw me off. Actually, given like the fact that he just dropped past so many times, I think it hurt him more than it hurt me. I think so too. Because like, what do I search with? Just Sage. I off tin cans, which is pretty relevant. Yeah, it turns off his tin can and it turns off my Sage. Oh well. My deck is still good if Sage doesn't resolve. His deck is shit if tin can doesn't resolve. Well, I'm going to walk around and take a look at him. Yeah, like, um, you won your round, I won my round. Austin won his round, Jordan won his round. I'm assuming you won Momo, your round. I think Momo won. Yeah, 2-0 against Blue hmm? oh. I'm pretty sure Momo won, won his round. Yeah. Fucking DDDs, man. DDDs with Pot of Desires. So for those Would of you... you not? Yeah, no. <laughs> like for those of you watching who are thinking of building the deck, sorry, but you're going to have to drop 300 on it minimum. Yeah, sadly, I think DDD is a deck that needs Desires. Yeah. Yes, it does. I'm glad I got my third last I'm keeping my third. Well, let's see what we got over here. I don't know who you want to Yes. 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 I like maybe like to voice some of the There's one Oh my god, it's the go Don't mind me. Oh, there's the one in the US. Yeah, you can't play the I'm going to check on the last of the crew. So, I think I have a lot of people back in the chamber. I actually got one V8. Usually if I match it, but all you have to do is like... All right, final round ended, and uh, Mega Monkey here just won his last round. He's X1 going into tops. I wouldn't be surprised if you aren't top four. Yeah, no, no. If my homeboy playing BA there, uh, if he wins, I'd probably get first place. Really? Yeah. How would you like that knocked under your belt? 
Magnus can shut the fuck up for one after I get it. <laughs> Biggest Winnipeg regionals in Utah, and you get first place. That'd be sick. Oh man, seriously. There's one thing I learned today about blue eyes. What's that? Galaxy Soldier is a blue eyes card, and it's a necessary three of. Well, no, you. Like every time I step, from now on, every time I see YouTube videos saying people saying, "No, you don't need it." Fuck off. Yes, you do. I, you're gonna savage my video then. Okay, no, I don't say. I say it's the either or. Like I was on the fence on it. Oh, Ryan. Ryan. <laughs> Did you draw? Yeah. Thank you very much, Cyframes. Brendan, you better get moving, man. No. You got it? Yeah. Okay, I gotta get, we gotta get this. So, Mega Monkey, all the confirmed first place, we'll find out. You make a video now. I'm, oh, this is part of, like, gonna be, like, an hour-long video. X2. X2 drop. <laughs> Meanwhile, we have the Winamac. Excuse me, thank you. It's okay. We have the Winamac over here. Hi. I continue filming, but I might get flagged for rape. Grapes not money. So, we'll tune back in here once Top Cup gets announced, by the way. I think I have a fairly good idea of how the breakdown is going to be. I may or may not go for one of these guys. Head judge to first place. Let's see. Good. That's retirement. That's what you go with a bank. They, they quit. Congratulations, man. You deserve this. You played like crazy today. So, we'll see how the rest. I got. I got. So like I've got so much adrenaline. I told you I could run a marathon. So no X2 made it. So no X2 made it. Yeah. Okay. So top cut for those. All right. Just because you're in top eight does not mean your life is over now. I need death from all top Number nine. Number nine. Oh. Bubble. <laughs> you are the heart the bubble man. <laughs> Let's see, I got 26. Shard got top 16. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh. Ouch, Alan bubbled on the ninth. Ooh. I know that feeling. I probably finished like 30 something or 40 something. Pro maybe I got 26. <laughs> it's a step up from before. Maybe? I think I got 17th last year. Hi. I got first. I don't care what anyone says. You got first? I got first. <laughs> uh, I don't think I have enough battery power for the rest of this, so I gotta stop. Alright, we're back. Regionals trip is over. We're heading home. China. We have, of course, Mr. Third Place here at the wheel, and we got Mr. Stove. How was your first regionals? It went well. It went very well. You enjoyed uh, yourself? Uh, yeah, I had a great time. I uh, met some really awesome people. I met the Winnipeg crew. Um, oh, yeah, playing in the regionals is like 40% of it. Yeah, yeah. The hangout, getting to see your boys, and just being somewhere different is the other 60. Shout outs yeah. to Cameron and everyone. Yeah, absolutely. Cam uh, Cameron was a great help with everything. Especially unloading a bunch of stuff that I didn't want anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so do you want me to pick through these binders? No, just take them. <laughs> <laughs> no, those can go. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, I, uh, I had a good time. I, I thought I, I, I played pretty well. I played against really good players. Um, definitely got blown out by one card in two different matches. Which one? Uh, the first of which I was playing against uh, Counter Fairies. Also known as uh, the guy who got fourth and yeah he got lose. <laughs> yeah he got fourth place. Uh, demise fossil Dina, basically. I'm sorry that was entirely my fault. Yeah yeah that's true. Actually that's though, 
Um, yeah, it was, uh, I've, I've explained this a number of times already, but basically, uh, I had, I had set full house the, on the turn, and on his following turn, main phase one, he has luster and three back row, activates Ariadne. Perfect scenario. I flip full house. Gonna be an absolute blowout. No, I get ultimate prominence. Okay. That's, that's, it's game three at that point is GG. And, um, that, that was round three. I won my first round, my first two rounds. Um, round four, I played against, uh, Kirk. I think it's Kirk. Something like that. Um, playing against PK Pirate. He's a great player. He was, he was fun to play against too. Oh, Kirk's a good player. Yeah. Um, he wins game one, I win game two. And, uh, game three was, like, the game, games one and two were pretty much a blowout, uh, each way. Uh, and game three was probably 25 to 30 minutes. It was an awesome game. And, uh, I eventually, I activate Sky Iris, activate Ariadne, Sky Iris effect, pop Ariadne, mistaken arrest. Uh, shit. GG, man. And, uh, I, I could have dropped at that point, but I decided to keep going. I ended up taking the 28th or something like that. Relatively happy I got top 32 in my first regionals, so I'm not entirely disappointed. Yeah, I, I have already mentioned, I finished 26. Mega Monkey Ryan here finished 4th, and then the other card, the other guys finish, um, I think they finished below us. Yeah. Maybe? Because if yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, this is, this is the good car. Yeah. So, next time, you'll probably get your top event if the pattern is true. I'm going to top again next time. You got third place this time, right? Yeah. Next time, you'll do better. I'm still on the quest for first. Yes. It is a mighty need. It is. Yeah. Get to meet the crew, enjoy this. We went to Movados. We got. Us plebeians in Saskatchewan got to experience all of Guardian Taco Bell. It was my first time at Taco Bell ever. <laughs> Why yeah. do we not have these things in Saskatchewan? God. Like, oh, man. man, these are the real questions that we ask ourselves. Saskatchewan is Loserville. Why do we live in Saskatchewan? Right? We should fucking move to Winnipeg. I say that every time. We like your city. But, yeah. That's pretty much... your football team. To be fair, we hate our football team right now. <laughs> I, will be a, I will always be a lifelong fan, no matter how shit they are. It's okay. We at least got these guys to root for. Someday. 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 I want to see them win a championship in my lifetime. Technically, they have, but I was four months old. Yeah, I was just, <laughs> I was just a snot-nosed kid when the Jays won something. Yeah, Maybe the Raptors can win something, too. Just not the Maple Leafs. Hey man, Toronto did pretty good last week. Yeah, they did. I'm just, yeah, thinking about the fact that, like, Toronto's best teams don't play hockey. You know, that's, like, probably yeah. the one they care most about. The Raptors made it to the Eastern Finals and lost to LeBron. People lose to LeBron, perhaps, in some way. <laughs> <laughs> but that's pretty much it. There's nothing really a whole lot else we can really do at this point. We might, I might put the phone back up again and shoot something we start getting to another one of our heated discussions because that <laughs> <laughs> that's not an if that's a when okay well I guess we're not done yet but for the time being I'm gonna put the phone down it's okay none of us had to play will be honest yeah like look at like look at it though like look at it objectively though between wind ups with their hand loop and sectors just existing and chaos dragons with future fusion Dino Rabbit was infinitely more balanced than all of those decks Not even deny that. Don't forget all the fucking decks like Final Countdown that were actually meta in that format. Because by the time Chaos Dragons came around and established themselves as the best deck, they could not play against like Zodiac Countdown. Uh, so consider those as like the honorary fifth best deck in the format. Let's not forget Dark World was in that format too. Yeah, really. Well, because one sap won it. And the Dark Bolts were never relevant again, but people still keep trying to make that thing work. Every time I see someone submit a Dark World deck to Deck Doctor, I'm like, why? Because it's fun! 
I kind of miss a, one part of that format. That was the start of it because of the fact that heroes were able to top that one. And I really liked the hero deck from that one. Like, YCS Long Beach itself seemed like it was okay. Just big and long. Yeah. But yeah. I don't know. I liked, I liked that around. I did not think that was a stupid deck. It was good. It wasn't like retarded like all the other decks. It's I remember that. I played wind-ups for the first half of that format. I'd rather for the second half. I played Chaos Dragons once and I never fucking touched the Zekers. They were fine. I do not mind the deck at all. Now the Dragonflies have won, but I was not going nowhere near that shit when Dragonflies have three. That Insectors are still probably one of my most hated decks of all time, just because of how it functions. Like, that deck was just too free, and honestly, what, what, I guess I don't know if I could go so far as to call it autopilot, but it just, it was degenerate and ignorant. It's like, you put a card on board, summon Dragonfly, equip Hornet, well I guess I lose. Yeah, that was like the format where like Baylor and Fiendish Chain really came into the format. Yeah, Valor especially. Remember how fucking expensive Fiendish Chain got? Because this is before it had ever been reprinted. I know. It was like 50 some bucks a piece. I really should have moved mine, but oh well. It was dumb. And then at the end of the format, the format got even fucking dumber because by July we had like Shockmaster. When that jump came out. Mm hmm. Remember offering gadgets? Yes, I know, I played it. I know you did. Yep. Ultimate offering is game. Yep. Unbanned as never. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap up this trip here because battery's kinda low. We're all just anyway tired and anyway. We're just shooting the shit here, talking about things. Yep. I like that. So hope you all enjoyed this trip. Uh these guys will be back probably in November. I won't be. I probably won't be back in Olympics next year, so say hi to them if you do. I'm, they don't bite. Well, Stoff doesn't. I can't say the same for Mega Monkey. <laughs> okay, he says he won't bite. So All I do is tell him. That too. So until All next. Time. Is me. <laughs> yeah. Until next time. This is Blue Star Eight Eight Nine Nine and Code jacking out later.